I have to drill out that broken screw and I want a piece of steel I can I can keep the drill in the right place and clamp it underneath with another piece of steel so it doesn't go through. I didn't have any thick steel. Found these two old window hinges. This is where the screw goes. That's now in, tighter. Drill scissors. I need to get past the perspex. Oh, it's jammed. Still jammed. Let's see what we've got. No marks. Uh, hell, I didn't even drill that screw out, I just drilled next to it. Made a mistake as per usual. I've got the diamond bit as a last resort. It's actually meant for a dremel. I have no dremel. Very sharp. See how I go with this. There's no point now. It's just a bit sticking out the back. No. Oh, keep pushing. Not much left at all, if anything. There's the, uh, the one I've been using. It's still got sharp cut, cutting edges up further. This is an engraving tool that's sort of shaped, shaped a bit like a twist drill. I'll, I'll run this out of diamonds first. Let's see that's uh, finished. making that noise anymore. Must mean it's had it. Expensive. Just a piece of steel now. Last chance. Diamond bit. This is engraver. Get it. I'll buy a new set at a two dollar shop drill off eBay. I wonder how much a real diamond drill costs. Actually that was a 1.5 maybe 2. What's this in here? It's already blunt. Too big. I don't think we're going to get anywhere but That experiment didn't work out too well. The drill must have bent just when it was entering. So, uh, oh yeah, I tried to use the diamonds, they uh, all wore out. Only one thing to do. Whatever I do, I'm going to have to replace, because if I wanted full height in the centre, I have to replace the perspex anyway, so I'm going to uh, I'll try and get the bottom frame off, then I'll just break what's left. A couple of hours to go. So it's moved that far, but I need something uh, more solid. So I have to use mesh hammer. Four hours. What's this? 
It's getting easier. Half, halfway. Table keep moving. The jerry clamps holding up to the saw horses. Saw horses keep moving. This bit moving. to be at the start. How wrong I was. Look how hard it is. That's a start. All I've got to do is make sure I don't damage the uh, aluminium. Sounds good. If you look hard enough, you can see all the broken perspex and the screw yeah, going right through it there. That's what caused all the trouble. So first of all I have to dig out all the perspex and then I grind the screw. So I'll see you in another four hours. How lucky can you get? One bit. grinding wheel but it's far too thick it won't reach because of the narrow part where the grouting was it has to be only half that size near the middle not even making a mark so having cleaned out the frames I have to Absolutely, I've got it upside down, this is a top rail. I have to absolutely make sure it follows, follows the curve of the top of the dashboard. So my mounted box is screwed to a piece of wood which fits in the vise. I also have clamped this bit that gets cut off so it doesn't matter if it gets straightened out. I have the cut mark there, it's the same direction as that one. And it's set on the 200. This might be a long way to pull it. We have three mil less than 200. That'll do. Is that 45? Of course it is. It's hitting the wood. Yeah, it's right. I have to make a countersink. A couple of holes there. Fourth, because I haven't written it down, and I might have to 
refer to this clip to remember. Now we're near. The right thing to do is cut a bit more off the top of the top of the frame. Look out see how it fits first. The bit in the middle will be bent downhill. The idea, this has to be turned 45 degrees that way and I have to make it bent, droop, I have to make it droop. I've removed this gigantic piece from the end of the top rail. I have a string mill, I have to twist this 45 degrees and I'm not going to cut until I've actually bent it. So this side of the rubber goes droopy. Just move along. Near as I can get to the end, my weight wouldn't be enough. So now go the other way. Getting uh getting pain here. Just try that out, eh? Not bad at all. That this part is going to be cut. All I have to do is turn it over a distance. Smaller distance. Yeah, that's how you bend things. Stand this up at the same angle. Pretty much, eh? Now, yeah, this is very exacting. I've got supports so it's held at the right angle. I need to measure the droop. Because if I cut that, no going back. I cut it too long. It's an 8 inch drill. I'll use a real one. I need yeah, a longer one. I bought that for the boat but I can't remember why. The droop is exactly 160. If it's less, it'll go up or go that way. Maybe splay just a touch. Doesn't the angle is not going to be 45. I'll cut this and the other end after I check. Then I'll put some holes in and screw it on together and then I can try it out. Because the angle wasn't quite right, I had to take an even, an even smaller piece off here. And now it's not straight. That's a better fit. We have a size hanging over, but that's uh, into the rubber, so nobody's going to see it. That's nice. Don't move. Too much pressure, and I might squash the frame. That's a fair bit. That's it. Absolutely. Not much pressure yet. That's much better. I have to screw this in first. See how close the end is? Why not do that up the other end? No, I had to make a mistake, didn't I? Sorry. That's good. Yeah. Oh, this is screw. Oh, I don't have to get screw. Alright, I've drilled that, uh, that in. I've taken it out, put it back, drilled this with much more exciting angle. Give it a bit of force that way. Right. Now the screw is not going to go in better. First of all, that one goes that way, that one goes Oops, it does cut off. Why did it fall off? Uh, the foot on the 
jaw slip. didn't take the hair, look at me now shot, how do I finish up look, uh, that's a bit better, very clear, oh yeah it's got nothing in it, I'm going to sit on the boat now and see how that looks, and what's even better, there's enough poly, I mean there's enough here yeah, polycarbonate there to fill the front screen, I doubt no, there won't be enough to do the sides, oh you don't know, could be. Straighten it out just a little. Very good. Now I can pack up. <laughs> 